so everyone welcome back to baking at Marissa's um again we're making creme brulee it's exciting <laughs> Marissa found a recipe but then it was like being weird and she's like I think I know the recipe so it's like she's... weird that I remember this but I do but didn't you just make it like a, a few ago yeah so we're making it like Halloween themed we have our watermelon sangria in like Halloween mason jar type things. Like milk bottle glasses. Milk bottles, yes. That's the word. And then she has like these cauldron, like ramekin things for the creme brulee, which is really cute. And then you have green sugar. Green sanding sugar. Which is really cool. She made these the other day and they looked pretty cool. And I'm sure they tasted good. They were really good. Yeah. So but we didn't wait for them to cool, which we should have. Because yeah. Because they burned all of our mouths. So this time while they're cooling or at some point, we're also going to make some candy apples because Marissa, I don't know, is feeling it. I, you've had candy apples before? I've had them, yes. Yeah. I haven't made them. Right. But you found a recipe that looked like simple. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's, you got corn syrup. Didn't you say you had corn syrup? Yeah, but you didn't tell me to grab it. <laughs> oh my god. Well. Should we see if we can find another recipe that doesn't involve it? Yeah, maybe. I could try looking one up. So, we're definitely making the creme brulee because we just went to 7 Eleven to get more eggs. Might have to go back for corn syrup if we can't buy it. <laughs> we're over it. So yeah, we're just drinking and living our best lives. You wanna grab a bowl for those eggs? Here we have the creme brulee going in. I will step out of Marissa's way. Because these have to get baked in a water bath. And the oven is preheated to 350. And Marissa said they bake for about 40 minutes. Okay. So we'll set the timer uh, for 40. And then we're gonna I'll start make. With like 35. All right, that's good. And then we're gonna make the candy apples, hopefully. Okay, so here we are, listening to the coasters and uh, making candy apples. You know, so we had one pot pretty much like ready, but then they were like, "Oh, bring it to a boil and then like simmer." And we boiled it, and it just like instantly burned. Like we were doing so well. And then it just all went terrible. This is so, a low ass burner, and look at this. Yeah, like we're just, this one's already a little black because I accidentally added the food coloring first, but it's going well. I love you guys. But basically we have everything else set up. We have our apples. We're gonna use these ones for the red food coloring since they're lighter. And they these ones for the black. And yeah, so basically I forgot to bring the corn syrup because like, I knew Marissa needed it, but then I just forgot in like the heat of the moment. So <laughs> it was kind of a mess. So we had to find like a substitute recipe. So it's literally just sugar, white vinegar, and water. And then obviously the food coloring, which we have back there. So, so you know what? I might put this one just on low and then put, switch this over there. Yeah. So we're doing two separate ones. We had to restart this one, which was the red. And then that one's the black, which is just gonna simmer low and slow well, back there so we don't screw it up. And then basically like right before we dip them, we just add the food coloring and then do it. Yes. yes. This is our song, <laughs> Dion. Run around Sue, the best. My mom's favorite. It's the everyone's best. favorite. Yeah. It's a gem. Guys, so we're baking with our eye masks on, killing it. So yeah, Marissa got these like eye masks from Victoria's Secret. So we're from using Dick. those. Dick Very Beauty. good. So we are. Ooh, this actually looks good. Yeah. And by the time that you put the color in, like the red is gonna mask that anyway. Yeah. And then that's Here's the are gonna be more over there, which is pretty good. I think they're like pretty much done, to be honest. Yeah. Like I think if we just want to add just the let the them color harden. and do them, um, we could. Yeah. Well, this one, is this on low? Yeah. Yeah, well, so, it's on yeah low. so just keep it on low and just let them simmer. The creme brulees came out like literally just now. They look pretty good. They're pretty much set, so we're just, we let them cool. 
Yeah, so what I use, what I did last time I think was like I let them cool out here for a half an hour then I put them in the fridge. I didn't want to put them directly in the fridge because when you go from extreme hot to extreme cold, like, mm -hmm. stuff cracks. Yeah. So, yeah. How long did you put them in the fridge for? I think like another half an hour. Oh, or, or at least like 20 minutes. Yeah. At least 20 minutes. And then we're going to put them back in here, no water, and then add the green sugar and then put them back in the oven on broil until this guy hardens. So then when you crack into it, if you had creme brulee, you know what that's about. So we don't have the torch. Marissa has a torch, but it's in storage. So, <laughs> but she said she did this and it worked like pretty well. Yeah, I just used a broiler. Honestly, I think that's what I did because I don't even have a torch and I'm pretty sure like it was fine. I got it like so. from bed bath. Very nice. Yeah. Freaking Joey was telling me, he's like, if you need to buy a torch, go to the BP. I'm like, okay, <laughs> we're not buying a torch. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, this is what's happening. We're just hanging out and schwitzing also. Oh my God, I'm dying. If you don't know what schwitzing is, <laughs> you just won't know. Yeah, no, basically. No, it's basically Yiddish for sweating high. Which we are, we're both hot. The oven was on, the stove's on, it's hot. It's and then we're like drinking alcohol, so that's really not helping us. Ooh. That's just Wait, making us warm. Yeah, I already finished mine. I'm ready for the next one. I've been working at the stovetop. Yeah, Marissa's hard at work. Okay. And I'm hardly working. Mwah. So we'll show you when the candy apples are all done. Okay, so we finished the candy apples, and um, it's interesting. So basically we didn't have enough of the like candy part to like fully cover the apples. So like, like this one's like pretty much covered, but then like the second two, it's kind of like a mess. Like there's, there's some gaps, but honestly it kind of looks cooler. Like that black one in the corner, it's like some stuff's like dripping down and then some of it's bare, but it looks pretty cool. Overall, I think for our first time and for having to like substitute like the corn syrup because we didn't have it so we had to pretty much like make our own i think it came out pretty good and i'm actually excited to try them so now we're going to be watching hocus pocus and finishing our drinks and this is the last one because we had watermelon sangria we had three different types of hard cider now we're finishing it off with a merlot which if you don't know is a red wine um a classic hocus pocus which i've literally already watched twice this year and it's like september 6th so this is good but honestly like my favorite and we were gonna watch Hocus Pocus and then Beetlejuice, but it's already like 9.30, but we've been baking this whole time. So like, we're probably just gonna watch this and then call it a night for today. The Merlot! <laughs> Marissa forgot the Merlot. Um, so yeah, that's our last drink, cause honestly the night's gonna be wrapping up in a little while but basically since i'm moving and i won't be here for halloween this was kind of like our halloween night so we're making like halloween goodies we're gonna need we'll the still do more. we're gonna need the corkscrew <laughs> marissa's like i'm over it marissa's about to fall over and die i feel it <laughs> so yeah basically what's happening now why are the subtitles on you know oh because my dad can't hear oh shut them off i hate subtitles <laughs> oh fuck so this is happening i think it's on the tv i don't even know how to fix this and here's the I don't like them either all right so we have the green sugar it's like kind of hard to tell um okay there you go the green sugar on the creme brulee. I did these two and Marissa did these two just cause I wanted to get involved. So now we're gonna put the oven on broil cause Marissa does have a torch but it's in storage so we don't have it handy. So we're gonna put the oven. Wait, weren't you just gonna use that to not like dirty another dish? 
Oh yeah, but you know what? That's gonna come up too high. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I realize that's gonna come up too high. So, we are gonna, yeah, put the oven on broil and cook them for like how long do you think? You gotta really just keep an eye. All right. We'll be keeping an eye on it's them. It's not something that you can like. Now, obviously if we had the torch, we'd use that, but when I made them, I didn't have a torch, so I did this and, I mean, they turned out fine. But also check out these candy apples. I think I showed these in a clip. I don't know, I've been drinking and it's like starting to catch up. <laughs> but um, these are the candy apples. I think you did. These are the red ones, those are the black ones, and- The I'm, black ones don't even look black. I'm, it looks like purple almost. I mean, I'm not mad, but like, yeah. it's not black. Which is weird because in the saucepan it looked like it very It looked 1000% black, <laughs> black yeah. but you know what, the red underneath is showing through, so what I'm gonna do uh, is just like, do a black and white photo and no one needs to know. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have that one But now. like compared to the red ones, they're black. Like, yeah, yeah, definitely. Like compared to those. Like yeah. I. So I'm gonna have this one and then, which one are you gonna have? The middle? Yeah, middle guy. Has the most candy bits on it. Oh my God. Pull it up. Living. Okay, it's fucked up, but I'm living. <laughs> I mean, that's my life. And this is my guy. And I already like took him off. Mm. So it's not like 100% covered, but. It's gonna be perfect. Aw, Marissa's into it. And here's me it with mine. Okay. <laughs> Terrible, oh, God. I'm feeling it. Okay, so we're having our candy apples and those are finishing. So we'll be back when the creme brulee is done. Okay, so we just took these out of the oven. So like, I feel like this one was getting pretty burned, so I was like, all right, take it out. They're like still bubbling, like they look like they're breathing. Um, <laughs> it's happening. But they all got like a little browned, but like, I don't know, ovens are hard because they're all like, they like I mean, bake on the oven. I mean, tends to brown anyway. No, but like, you know, like this one's like browned like a little more, and then this one is like barely, like ovens are just like weird with heat, I feel like in general. So, I don't know, but I think once they cool, they'll like harden a little more, and I don't know, I'm just ready to dig in, but they're literally gonna like burn our mouths because they literally just came out like a minute ago. But Marissa's eating her candy apple. So, <laughs> Marissa's like, this is flattering. <laughs> So basically our thoughts with that are, Marissa took a bite of hers and was like, I think it's like the ca like the candy, candy part got like a little, done. yeah, like overcooked. And then I was like, oh really? And then I took a bite of mine, which was the red one. And I was like, oh yeah, like it's like subtle, but like you could tell it doesn't taste like a normal candy apple. Marissa, you've had like your fair share of candy apples. I've had like one before and it I was like them. 10 years ago, honestly, but I could tell like it was like a little overcooked, but like I still ate the whole thing. Like it was good. <laughs> but so now we're waiting for the creme brulee to cool. So I don't know, it's like 1030 almost. So probably by like 11, we'll be eating those. So we'll see you then. Hey guys, so it's like 1130. Um, we're letting the creme brulee chill, so we're just trying it now. I just kind of cracked into mine, and it did have, if you've had creme brulee, you like know about it, but like the top was like hard, so you like cracked into it, and it was almost like glass shattering or something. Marissa, did you try it? Oh my god. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I'm excited. All right, I'm going to try mine. Um, I just set the camera down. It's just like, you can't even see my face at all, but let's see. Ooh, it looks like everything. Oh my God. Honestly, 10 out of 10. It is like, it's so good. Like it's not like cold, but it's not like burning hot. Um, I feel like it's like the perfect like temperature. It's just, everything it's like 
got like the witch vibes because there's like the green sugar and it's in like this like cauldron like ramekin which is where did you get these michael's killing it i was gonna say it was michael's because it's just everything and it's just amazing i'm like pretty drunk like dude so normally like at first i saw the ceramic um cauldrons and i was like oh i've been looking for those but are they oven safe and then i looked on the packaging and it was like oven safe up to 400 degrees i was like fuck yes yes so i honestly felt fine all night drinking but then we opened this merlot and like that fucked me up like i had like the a merlot is a lot right now. yeah it was like 13.5 alcohol like volume and i had like a glass and a half and like by a glass i mean like this like filled all the way to the lid and like a half so it was kind of a lot and i was just chugging it at this point honestly but like i felt fine all night but now i'm like this is fucked so anyways the creme brulee is really good i'm gonna go so i can eat it and then i'm gonna go home and honestly pass out i was gonna shower when i got home but honestly like fuck it i'm just showering in the morning because i'm exhausted and it's been a long day what'd you make a face what happened Marissa's <laughs> is like I got one piece that was a little leggy rude so which did not happen last time sad sad so I don't know I only had one bite so far but it was really good hopefully I don't get an eggy like tasting piece but whatever we'll live yeah we'll live. <laughs> So I hope you guys like this video of this little Halloween baking and just drinking vlog and hanging out watching the classics Hocus Pocus 10 out of 10 would watch 10 more times. So make Already sure did twice. Yeah, pretty much. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.